Okay, so question number three. If you were studying an enzyme that catalyzed the reaction of ATP and fructose 1-phosphate to form fructose 1,6-bisphosphate and ADP, and discovered that a plot of the initial velocity of the formation of fructose 1,6-bisphosphate versus ATP concentration was not hyperbolic, but rather sigmoid, what would you expect? Okay, so let's try to graph out what this plot might look like. And we are plotting the velocity, initial velocity, which is V0, versus the formation of fructose 1,6-phosphate versus ATP concentration. So I'm just going to put the concentration of our substrate. And for a common enzyme, this graph looks hyperbolic. So it kind of looks like this. And this is the graph of a common enzyme. But in our case, we have a sigmoid graph, or a sigmoid-looking plot. And when you have a sigmoid plot, it kind of looks like this. And you can see it's kind of shaped like an S. So when we have a sigmoid curve, this tells us that our enzyme is allosteric. So let me write that down over here. When we have a sigmoid curve, also known as an S-curve, this tells us that our enzyme is allosteric. And when we have an allosteric enzyme, this means that the binding of one substrate to the enzyme's binding site increases the affinity of other substrates or of other sites or their substrates. Okay, so for example, was the enzyme that catalyzed the reaction of ATP and fructose 1-phosphate to form fructose 1,6-bisphosphate and ADP. So when the binding of that one substrate to the enzyme's binding site actually increases the affinity of other sites for their substrates. And you can see how the concentration or the velocity increases rather quickly and then it kind of plateaus off as the reaction continues. So let's see what the junior tutor said. They said that a sigmoid plot of the initial velocity of the formation of the product versus the concentration of the substrate 
signifies that the enzyme involved in the reaction is an allosteric enzyme. Allosteric enzymes are enzymes having at least two or more active sites. If the inhibition is competitive, the substrate may bind to the other sites while another substrate was occupying the desired active site. If it is non-competitive inhibition, on the other hand, there will be no effect in the plot of the initial velocity of the formation of product versus the concentration of the substrate. Therefore, in the case of studying, in the case of the study involving the enzyme that catalyzed the reaction of ATP and fructose 1-phosphate to fructose 1,6-bisphosphate in ADP, the, obs the observed plot for the reaction was sigmoidal probably because the enzyme was used was an allosteric enzyme that have at least one active site competing for the substrate. Yep, so this solution is correct. I'll also add what I wrote as well. Thank you.